What's up cubers, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the Rubik's Cube with an infinite amount of possibilities. Okay, so technically speaking, it's a 2x2. Two two. It is exactly the same as this 2x2, two two, but bigger. And as you can see, this is very flexible. There's definitely nothing different to this 2x2. Two two. This 2x2 two two has just over 4 million possibilities, I believe. This one just folds on and on and on and on forever and ever and ever. And you're probably thinking, is it just a cube? Is that it? Is it just this weird twisty turny thing? No, you're wrong. Because look. It comes apart. So this, as you can see, it's made by... Oh wait, this one's upside down. It's made by Rubik's. I think it's the Rubik's Star Puzzle. Or Rubik's Twisty Cube. Something like that. Uh, but it's really, really fun to play with it. So you know the, yeah, the GAN 11 and Pro, the boxes, they kind of just go... Bee! Bee! Well, that's what this is like. And as I say, you can take it apart... And you can make a star, which looks really nice, and another star, which looks really nice. There's a lot of white pieces, and this one's, so this one if you fold it out, it's scrambled. This one is kind of solved. Um, you can have one big 2x2, two two or two hollow 2x2s. Two Whee! I, love, I really, really like these. So, the aim of the puzzle is you have two stars, and you want to try and make a massive 2x2. Two two. Uh, so, I'm going to put this on there, like, so you can kind of see how we get from this to that. Um, like, you can kind of, you can't really scramble it, but you have to unfold the star into one shape, and then... Fold the, so for example this won't fit in in here to create a block that we can then turn into a 2x2 two two. but this is exactly the same so I know from experience if it's not really an algorithm but you can kind of reverse it like this now we've got two big stars to fit in the two big gaps and you squish it together like a sandwich and you've got your massive two by two so obviously it's impossible you have red and orange on the same piece they're very hard to tell the difference between um i think there was one piece where yeah that's a white and yellow this piece has two whites on but i'm not complaining complaining i really really like this puzzle and i think it's amazing how it actually works how it works how it can go from a star like this to a cubic shape it was really hard to figure out when i first got it but i just think it's awesome rubik's puzzles they might not be the best speed cubes but they're really really fun and you definitely have to use your brain so i'm very sorry for not uploading a video yesterday i don't know why i was just chilling and I just didn't get around to making one, but I had a really cool idea that I'm going to mention in a later video today, so I hope you're looking forward to that. Um, I really think you should buy this puzzle. It's just so fun. You can do so much with it. You can fiddle with it. You can do anything. And it's way better than your regular 2 by 2 This one isn't very good. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Please leave a like. Bye!